On the eve of today's election, Elon Musk appeared on the Joe Rogan program and uh, generating quite a bit of discussion. First and foremost, Joe Rogan formally endorsed Donald Trump yesterday. I want to start with that. He went from Bernie bro to Trump supporter, I guess, uh, Joe Rogan posting to X about his interview with Elon Musk and adding the great and powerful Elon Musk. If it wasn't for him, we'd be fucked. He makes what I think is the most compelling case for Trump you'll hear. And I agree with him every step of the way. For the record, yes, that's an endorsement of Trump. Enjoy the podcast. Now, so many wondering what happened to Rogan. He used to be on the left. He still says he's on the left, but he's not going for Kamala. He's going for Trump. Is it because of the Texas environment in which he is now um, uh, deeply involved, where he's hanging out with the sorts of people who support, you know, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, and it's just kind of the group think of the area, or is it personally motivated by some desire for a particular? tax policy or listen, I don't know the answer, but this is where we ended up with an endorsement of Donald Trump by Joe Rogan. Now, it's a multi hour episode. We're too busy today to dig into a ton of it. But the 29 seconds that I've chosen for you of Elon Musk's appearance is this sort of freak out if Trump doesn't win everything will be over and terrible. And just consider how hyperbolic this all sounds. If the Dems win this election, they will legalize enough illegals to turn the swing states and everywhere will be like California. There will be no escape. That is so insane. This is the final. This is it. This is the last chance. Has anybody tried and to I'll push just back? Like, go out and vote. Vote like your life depends on it. Vote like your future depends on it, because it does. This is the last chance, man. OK, this is the last chance. Now, I, I know that it's super popular to attack California in MAGA circles. But when Elon says everywhere will be like California if Harris wins, that sounds pretty damn good. Uh, I, I know that much is made of, oh, crime is sky high in California. It's not. Overall, crime continues to decline. If you put 40 million people in a state, are you going to have crime? Yes, you're going to have crime. But the stories about the rampant increase in crime are fabricated. California, if it were a country by itself, would be one of the wealthiest and most dynamic and productive countries, both in terms of intellectual property and thought leadership in the world. If every state were like California, we wouldn't be worried about China nipping at our heels. We wouldn't be worried about Russia wanting to supplant the US as a global superpower. If we had 50 Californias making up the United States, it would be a force to be reckoned with intellectually, economically, and culturally. Is it expensive? Yes, it's expensive. Places are expensive often because of supply and demand. There's a reason you can get a near mansion in rural Texas for 200,000 bucks. It's because very few people want to live there. You might want to, and that's fine, but very few people want to live there. There's a reason a studio apartment in New York City or San Francisco costs what it costs, which is that tons of people want to live there. And so the it's expensive thing also isn't even really the attack that that I think they want it to be. Needless to say, cost of living is a problem. Th these are all real problems. But if every state were like California, that's not an apocalyptic vision. That's a imagine what we would be doing on a global scale if we had 50 California. So bottom line, Elon Musk is going full in on Trump. Joe Rogan is going full in on Trump. Either he wins or he doesn't, and we'll find out soon. In a recent interview before the election, Trump said that he didn't think his supporters would cause problems after the election, but that the left would, saying the left is the enemy from within and might be needed to be handled by the National Guard. 
The Washington Times reported this interview with the headline Trump says no chaos from his supporters this election day, which totally whitewashes and sane washes what Trump actually said. Luckily, we have ground news, the app and website that provides context on every story. Like for this Trump interview, ground news provides more context, like Trump's defense secretary said we should believe Trump when he says he wants to use the military against Americans because that's what he wanted to do during the unrest in the summer of 2020. That's why ground news is so valuable. Our sponsor ground news is an independent, nonpartisan news analysis tool dedicated to exposing the hidden agendas that influence the news you consume. Ground news has features designed to expose the narratives that circulate in biased media bubbles, and it'll even show you your own media blind spots. We all have them so that you can understand every story from every angle. Go to ground.news slash Pacman to get a massive 50 percent discount off the same unlimited access vantage plan that I use. The link is in the description or scan the QR code.